Hi, I'm Cynthia Scott Dupree, Professor and Bear Crop Science Chair in Sustainable Pest Management in the School of Environmental Sciences at the University of Guelph. In this video, we will show you how to set up a pheromone trap to monitor for brown marmorated stink bug on your farm. The brown marmorated stink bug, or BMSB for short, is an invasive insect native to East Asia. It was first identified as established in Ontario in 2012 in the Hamilton area and has steadily moved towards agricultural areas since then. BMSB causes direct damage to fruit, vegetable and field crops as a result of feeding injury. Growers are beginning to see low levels of late season damage in crops near urban hotspots. Thus, monitoring for BMSB is important in early detection and in mitigating against future crop losses. BMSB has two white bands on their antennae, rounded shoulder tips, inward pointing white triangles on the edge of their abdomen, one white band on each of their legs, and a smooth rounded snout. In this video, we are using a black PVC ABS pipe trap. The pipe trap, like most commercially available BMSB pheromone traps, includes a support base, a funnel to direct bugs into the collection jar, a pheromone lure, and an insecticide strip to kill BMSB and prevent their escape. To assemble the trap, first insert the yellow X-shaped support base into the notches of the pipe. The yellow funnel-shaped entry clone is then placed securely on top of the support base. Next, you need to place both pheromone lure components in the square collection jar. Wear the gloves provided and open the silver pouch containing both lure components. Toss them into the collection jar. The lures do not need to be suspended in any way. Next, open the Ziploc bag containing four insecticide strips. Remove the wrapper from one strip and place it into the collection jar along with the pheromone lure components. Leave the other insecticide strips in the Ziploc bag. Then, place the collection jar securely on top of the entry cone. Finally, take a bungee cord and hook it onto the eye bolt on one side of the pipe and pull it over top the collection jar, hooking it into the eye bolt on the other side of the pipe. Next, insert a four foot green fence post into the ground up to the flanges. Then slide the black PVC ABS pipe covered with screen over the post with the notches and eye bolts in an upward position. Traps should be placed along crop borders, adjacent woodlots or hedgerows where they won't hamper your farm operations. Checking or monitoring the traps should be done every week. Look in the collection jar to see if there are any stink bugs in it. If you see a stink bug, take a picture with your cell phone and send the picture to the contact provided. If you find a stink bug in the collection jar, remove the bungee cord and detach the X-shaped support base. Invert the jar with the funnel and base still attached so that all the bugs fall to the bottom. Remove the funnel and place a Ziploc bag over the opening of the collection jar and let bugs fall into it. Then remove the bugs and place them in the collection vials provided and label with the date, location, and your name. Call the contacts provided to arrange for the sample to be picked up. Then reassemble the trap, ensuring the bait and insecticide strip are inside. Pheromone lures and insecticide strips need to be replaced every four weeks. Extra lures and insecticide strips must be stored in a freezer until use. Do not leave them in your vehicle on a hot day as it will make them ineffective. 